welcome back to the channel. If you buy yourself a Mark 7 or 7.5 ST or Fiesta of any description, one of the first mods that people go out and get, oh no, I've got grease on me already, and all over my hands, standard, workshop, great. Um, yeah, one of the first mods you would do, let's face it, everybody does it, well, I say everybody, nearly everybody, is you get wind deflectors put in. Now, don't get me wrong, they look great. You know, they generally make the car straight away look like it's modified. It's just something that, I don't know what they do, but they really do look like it modif you know, like your car's modified straight as you put them on. There's no question about it. But what comes with it normally, short period afterwards, you get all this wrinkling start to come up. Or in some cases, it really does start to lift. All right. So in today's episode, I'm gonna have a go at removing this film. All it is, guys, is a protective, like scratch resistant film that goes over the pillar around your window to tie in with the rubbers from your back window and this little window. I don't understand the little window. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. You know, it's like it was an afterthought. Oh, maybe we should put the mirror there. Nah, sod it. Let's put it on the side because I can't see it. You know, it's just, a, in my eyes, that's a styling fault, personally, because I just see it as pointless space, that little window. I've, yeah, but that's my honest opinion. Right then, so what you're going to need, I believe, to get this off is you're going to need a heat gun and a Stanley. That's because just like, well, just like when you remove vinyl, you see all these people going, I removed my wrap and it ruined my paint. No, mate, you didn't, you know, it didn't ruin your paint removing the wrap. You just had no heat on the wrap to soften the glue. Now then my only issue that I've got is I've sealed these in place. There's no clips holding them in. So I can't get it out without breaking it. So if I was to slip from my heat gun and say melt these, they're a goner and I'll have to buy more. I'm not worried, they're cheapest chips to pick up as you guys all know. So yeah, I'm gonna go about now trying to heat this wrap up just to soften it, trying to get underneath it. It's already underneath it in a lot of places and start lifting it off. You're best off realistically doing it in the summer because it's naturally warmer. They would take less heat from the heat gun. But yeah, you know, it's October now. I want it off just because it really, you know, it does look scruffy when you look at it. If I change my mind, you know, and polish up the blue underneath, because it is all painted blue underneath, and I don't like the look, I'll just get it rewrapped. It's not the end of the world. So yeah, let's go back making a start. So then guys, you can see that it is generally fresh paint underneath. Yes, it will need some glue, tar and glue remover to get the residue off. But if you look closely at the wrap, it is in two sections. Let me show you easier on the other side. You see a split at the top here, and it is in two sections, one going across and one going down. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could remove this bit here, I don't know, say get some carbon fiber wrap or a colored wrap or anything that you wanted to, in, to replace it just to keep the OEM look going over the top. But in my case, sadly, it really is damaged all the way around on both sides. So I'm gonna have to remove it all and then decide whether or not I like it. When I finish this side, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you prefer it with the wrap? Do you prefer it without the wrap? And what I'm going for is, well, I'm just going for the cheap method at the moment as it is a practically a free mod. 
if you do, when you do go to remove it yourself, easier for yet again if I show on the other side, because I've done that side, you go into, open your door, if you go into the corner up here, you see that it's wrapped over on the inside of your door. Just literally put a little line down with a Stanley on the corner and then start peeling away. But remember, get it hot enough to melt the glue, but don't get it hot enough so it bubbles your paint. You just want light heat. I know it's rich for me to say, but you do generally just want some light heat to remove it and get it all up and off. Well, I'm gonna carry on doing this side now. But yeah, I hope that this video kind of helps someone. You know, if all I set out to do is help one person. If I make the difference for one person, showing them how a spirit blue Fiesta ST looks without that wrap on, I've set out what I wanted to achieve. So let's crack on. Okay then guys, and there we have it. One very tacky piece of vinyl removed. I found it very satisfying when I got up here and I got a nice big strip off. I'll tell you what, that was a great feeling, but you could soon tell when it was getting cold again because it started getting bitty, as you're probably watching. The difficult bit I personally found was down here behind the mirror, but you can see I have cleaned the glue off the easiest product, well, the product I find best at removing like glue and sticker residue and all that is this stuff here. Tar and Glue Remover by Caviva. You know, I, I think that's how you uh, pronounce it. I picked it up off eBay, absolutely dead cheap, probably the cheapest around, and it genuinely is spray on and you watch it dissolve and run away. I know there's many, many, many products out there that does exactly the same thing but I just thought I'd point out what I use. Like I say, the only difficult bit I found about doing this mod today is between here, the mirror and the door itself, because it doesn't give you much room if you get a little tacky bit stuck in there. So then guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you prefer it when it was black and tacky falling all off? Or do you want me to, uh, well, not do you want me to, or do you prefer the look of it when it was black. See, I, I don't think that looks too bad, personally. It's a free, it's essentially a free mod. It's a free mod done to your car. But sadly, it was caused by the Heco wind deflectors. So this video, if you watch it this far, I'm gonna call it the Team Heco wind deflector problem. So yeah, I'm gonna now do the other side, guys. Hopefully it has the same results as this side, but I just wanna say, Thanks for watching today. I'm not gonna bore you with doing the other side as well. I'm gonna go about doing it exactly the same way I've done this side because it worked. I don't normally do how-to videos, but there you go. There's a how-to, it actually worked. But it, I just went along the same concept lines as removing a sticker, heat it up, pull it off. But obviously guys, don't get it too hot or you will melt your rubber door seals you will melt your wind deflectors themselves or God knows what else, you know. I don't know what sort of donuts are watching my videos, but I love you all. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.